It's the second birthday of the Pilgrim course today. It's two years since it was launched. Uh, we're here in St. Martin's in the Bull Ring in the middle of Birmingham to explore with a group of people who've come how they might use Pilgrim in their own churches in the future to nurture the faith of new Christians and grow disciples and also how they have been using it over the last two years. It's great to hear so many signs of God at work and so many churches making a fresh commitment to grow disciples. What uh, I found most helpful in my church is using uh, the Pilgrim course um, with the, the way of reading the Bible, um, which forms the sort of central part of the course. Um, each session has a, a prayerful reading of a passage of the Bible um, which is done um, in such a way that people can share um, how it speaks to them. So it's about the Bible um, reading us as well as us reading the Bible. Pilgrim has been developed by the Church of England, but somebody who is not a member of the Church of England, I've found it really very helpful as well. I've used it with a group of people in a church of another tradition, and they've warmly welcomed this approach to deepening discipleship. In particular, people really valued the Lectio Divina approach to using biblical material and just slowly and deliberately chewing over biblical texts and then exploring those and applying what they meant to their lives. They've proved to be particularly helpful in using Pilgrim. Um, well, I've run the Pilgrim course three times now um, with the same group and uh, it's been an amazing experience uh, in the way that the people who've done the course have grown um, at the very beginning, there was one lady who wouldn't read anything, um, wouldn't read anything out loud. Um, by the end of the course, she was reading um, so confidently, and we were all so proud of her. Uh, there was another lady who didn't want to share anything about her own experience, but by the end of the course felt confident to actually relate the um, Lectio Divina to her life. Um, I guess my best bit uh, my most exciting news is that two of the people have since become church wardens. Um, all of the group were confirmed um, and I think Pilgrim is fabulous. I'm really looking forward to starting a new group. My group that have done the three sessions have now decided to start their own group um, and they're going to self-facilitate um, starting next week so that should be interesting. At our church we've been looking at a number of different courses that we could use to help people engage with their discipleship and uh, we tried a few of the, the normal ones that everyone knows about and uh, they were useful but culturally not really where we were at. So we decided we'd have a go at the Pilgrim course. We're now uh, into our third booklet on that. The courses are being run on Wednesday afternoons and Thursday evenings and we're getting two different groups of people coming to those and they're all finding that they're learning a lot more about what they actually believe in rather than just getting the, uh, if you like, the, uh, um, the very basics of their faith. They're able to engage with it and discuss it and go deeper. So today we're hearing some wonderful stories of the way in which following the Pilgrim course has begun to transform people's lives, as it always does when we start to think more deeply and seriously about what it means to be a disciple, a learner and follower of Jesus.